Hey, so uh, welcome back to the homestead. Today, me and my wife, who's recording right now, we are working in our garden. It's uh, September, mid-September now, and uh, the garden has kind of gotten away from us. The weeds have come up. We haven't been really been weeding anymore. We've just been harvesting like crazy. I haven't worried about the weeds because it's not affecting the growth at all. And so I am picking as many things as I still can to harvest, and it's time for sweet potatoes. Um, I had a neighbor who started harvesting his sweet potatoes already, and so I wanted to get mine going. And I pulled up, I only planted three, three plants for sweet potatoes. Uh, there were some slips that a friend of ours gave us, and so I put the slips in the ground, and you know, they took over a, a huge area, and uh, the grass grew up between it. And so I'm going back now and trying to harvest these, and just, this is out of one of the plants. This bucket full here is just out of one plant. And so look at that sweet potato. Look at that sweet potato right there. That is just, that is huge, humongous. And they're all like that. They're all big like that. There's another big one like that. It's a huge sweet potato. There's another one down here at the bottom. There you go. That's one plant. One sweet potato plant put that much out. And so, um, very excited about that. Now, let's go check out one of the other plants and see what I got there. I love sweet potatoes. Yeah, Jamie loves sweet potatoes. So I got to figure out, you have to kind of follow the vines to find out where they go. Here's the one I just dug up. And so I have to kind of find where they go, where they come to. So here's some vines. So here it is, right here. Okay, and so there's another one over here. I think. So there should be three total. So this is where this is coming out at. I'm just going to dig these up. You can see it, they're already just bulging out of the ground. <laughs> uh, okay, let's just start ripping those out. And you said they have, let me get this container real quick. Okay, so there's one there, small one. Oh, look at that sweet potato. Now, is that a sweet potato or not? <laughs> That's <is> amazing. <laughs> <laughs> and so, and so, if you're asking, you know, Zach, Zach, how did you get? Feed our whole family for one meal. I, I can't even, this one's so big, I can't pull it out. Um, if you're asking, you know, Zach, how did you do this? What did you do to get your sweet potatoes so big? Um, easy. I used just a couple things. I used basically uh, some rock dust on where I, where I planted all my plants. I'm digging this down here. And I used worm castings to surround where I put the slips and the plants. Oh, that one broke. Good size one. That's a good size one of this monster. So I use worm castings, rock dust, look at this. I think that's the biggest one. That's the biggest one yet. So that is amazing. Look at that. Just, it's got some bug work on it, but it'll be all right. But that is just huge. And so we're not done yet. Uh, so some worm castings. And then I use the boogie brew. If you guys go to boogie brew. Good grief. Good, look at that one. They keep getting bigger. Looks like a squash. <laughs> it's a football. So huge. Good grief. I can't wait to see what these taste like. But um, if you go to boogiebrew.net, uh, they have a compost tea that I highly recommend. I mean, this is this is a boogie brew sweet potato. I'm gonna, hey, everybody out there, go to boogiebrew.net, send them this video, and show them what look what you have done, boogie brew. So <laughs> there's the biggest sweet potato I think I've ever seen. If I had entered that into the fair, that would have been a, a what do you call it? grand champion <laughs> so all right um let's we're not done yet are we are we done yep there's a little bit more left here the one i broke okay so that's two plants i have two plants that's our sweet potato all right there's gotta be one more here there's one more here somewhere it's over here should be oh yeah here it is right here okay Okay, so this is the last one. Let's see what kind of yield this pulled out. It's not bulging out of the ground like the other ones were. As much, at least. Oops, broke that one. We'll have to wash these tonight. and The ones that we broke we'll have to eat tonight. We have guests coming tonight, so that's why we're digging these out, is because we want sweet potatoes to go with the chicken that we're going to be making in the brick wood oven. That's a good size sweet potato. That's like your average size sweet potato, right? Mm -hmm. Well, a little bit. No. We can get at the store maybe a little bit bigger sometimes. 
pens. They're all different sizes you get at the store. So this plant didn't do as good, but I think the other two totally made up for it. I think that may be it. Oh wait, there's some more down there. Let me get the... rock there. Maybe that's why. Yeah, okay, that was it, really. Just some little things down there, but that's mostly it. So, not so impressive on the third one, but very impressive on the first two plants that came out. So, I think we can call that a sweet potato, a sweet success for the sweet potatoes. Oh, we still have that other bucket over there, too. Yeah, so, good job. Anyway, just thought I'd share that with you. And like I said, we're going through right now and harvesting. Here's some remainder of tomatoes you can take a look at right there. We're going through. The weeds have all come up and we're basically done with the harvest. We're just kind of mopping up and taking and eating some of the things that are left over and trying to save some and use them for our daily meals. But uh, the harvest is about done. We're getting ready to start fall crops. And this fall garden, what we're going to be doing for the fall garden is laying down a new set of manures laying down a new set of, of rock dust over the whole thing. We're going to be putting a whole new uh, three or four inches of uh, the wood chips that you've seen in the other videos on top of this garden, three or four inches on top of all the manures and the, and the, um, and the rock dust and all the stuff we're putting down. And so uh, it's just going to be a work in progress throughout the fall and winter so that that can break down and be ready for spring. So this garden is just about done. The greenhouse is going full steam ahead. So we'll be looking forward to uh, getting ready for next spring. All right, see you next time on the homestead.